Tonight we're following up on a bill that would have increased property taxes on short-term vacation rentals in Colorado. We first told you about this Sunday night, how the sponsor of the bill planned to gut it and make it just a study on the economic impact of those rentals. Denver 7 reporter and attorney Jessica Crawford in the studio tonight. Jessica, the bill now goes to a Senate committee. That's right, multiple people testifying tonight. Right now, many of the short-term rental owners shared the same message that they just can't afford a tax increase. This bill discussed tonight originally aimed to increase property taxes on some vacation rentals. Now it's expected to be scaled back dramatically after heavy opposition. Short-term rental owners claim that it could hurt tourism and the businesses that support their rental properties, like housekeepers. Originally, Senate Bill 33 would have classified any short-term rental leased for more than 90 days a year as a lodging property, increasing their taxes. State Senator Chris Hansen is sponsoring the bill, and he's considering, with an amendment, changing the threshold from 90 days a year to 200 days a year to qualify as a lodging property. Another big change, commissioning a study on the subject instead of enacting a law. Some of the short-term rental owners are concerned that that study will eventually lead to a fee. Short-term rental hosts are just average, everyday people. Um, you know, it's somebody that wants to rent out a basement to offset their mortgage. It's somebody that wants a dream house in the mountains and they can only afford it if they have short-term rental income. Um, I think sometimes that we're put into this category of hotels or we're put into this category of large corporations, but yet we're just trying to achieve the American dream. Many of the people who testified tonight were retirement age and expressed concern that they couldn't afford their home without renting out a room. In the studio, I'm Jessica Crawford, Denver 7.